welcome back to another art blog. Inktober. Anyways, 31 drawings a day, every day. Drew 31 drawings, Inktober, every day. Posted every single day on Instagram. Posted a reel every single day on Instagram. Posted a TikTok every single day. And then posted a YouTube short. I didn't post one every single day, only every other day, maybe. And we're gonna talk about if I grew on social media, if anything changed, any, any more followers, any more likes, the ratios and all that. Did I get better? Did I achieve any of my goals I set? Did I get faster? Did, did I like the art that I made? Am I gonna do this next year? I don't know, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. First thing I wanna talk about is I set a goal to use a new brush for every couple pieces. I would do like two drawings with one brush and I would change it and I would, I would change the way I would render or uh, what's it called when you do the shit, the multiply layer? Um, uh, cell shade cell shade i would change up the way i would do cell shading uh sometimes i'll do it like scratchy sometimes i'll do it like with a pencil like hatching i guess and then sometimes i would add like a um half tone effect but i used about oh man over the 30 days i think i used about like 10 different brushes so like one day i i use the first day i think i use a um a brush i always use and then i use like a pencil and i use a couple like sketching brushes and by the end of it the last brush i used on the last day which was my favorite one i used a like, gouache brush for the line art which came out super sketchy and i that's what i was trying to get the whole time i was trying to achieve like a sketchy quick like unfinished look through my whole process of inktober i didn't really achieve that on every drawing but some drawings i could tell but there's some that just look like clip art to me i didn't really care for which sucks because i wanted to post like a nice drawing every single time and some of them were just like ugh. It looks like i just posted them to post to to finish which i kind of did but the goal was to post every single day and that's what i did but also i was trying to get faster and i did get faster i th i think i did i think by my last drawing i was down to like 37 minutes or something like that but it's because I, I kept a sketchy vibe a sketchy look and i didn't it didn't really look like final drawings or something that i would like commission for i like the sketchy look that me personally i don't know i guess technically i did achieve my goal of completing and then also achieving a, a look that i wanted to keep or a vibe keeping a vibe a sketchy vibe another thing i wanted to talk about was uh the prompts that i made i wanted to get better at drawing like animal characters and anim anamorphic characters like animals with like human bodies or animals of like human proportions and i feel like i achieved that for some of the drawings other drawings that i did didn't really they didn't look like they worked to me but i did get a lot better because i never draw anything like that this was all like new to me so i feel like i did good there it's just the prompts i don't the prompts were too long and i try to keep like a western like a sci-fi futuristic western vibe kind of like a cyberpunk western some of them you could tell they kind of look like it but a lot of them they either look straight western or they look straight futuristic no in between which what i was trying to capture if i do it in an extra i'll probably do simpler prompts um one word prompts because i would put like space gorilla miner or something like that i was just like he's mining in space i guess and it was just like super long it made the inktober post look super ugly in my opinion did i grow from these posting every single day everybody says if you post every single day you'll grow and i don't i actually lost followers so before Inktober started, I was at 36K followers, I believe. I just hit 36K. And I was thinking like, oh, if I post every single day on Instagram plus a reel every single day, I'm gonna, obviously I'll gain followers. But I actually lost followers. I actually lost likes. I actually lost reach or engagement. Um, I was just looking at the stats today, the analytics. And I went down, it was like, 20% for each post I went down I'll put all the I'll put all this stuff on the screen but I actually lost followers it, it shows October 3rd is like the most recent I can see like I was like up and then by the end of October I'm like down all the way down followers views likes engagement everything is down and it doesn't make sense because everything like, you post every single day Instagram catches on and they start pushing your content it's like no nah, they 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 tanked my stuff. I posted every single day at the same exact time. I think it was like eight o'clock, eight or nine o'clock. I would post every single day because I would draw while I was in uh, waiting at boxing. And then I would, before I left, I would post every single day at nine. And then I would make a reel when I got home or I'd make a reel there and would post it when I got home. So like around like 9, 30, 10 ish, I would post a reel every single day and then a YouTube short. Didn't grow nowhere, but I think YouTube, I gained a little bit. 
So even like TikTok, I think I lost around like 500 followers or something. So I just stopped posting on TikTok because I was like, I'm losing. People don't want to see my people don't want to see my Inktober stuff. So I'm losing. Let me just cut it out. Post different things. YouTube, I YouTube, I want to say I gained like 100 to 200 subs. I don't know exactly because I haven't checked the analytics on that. But Instagram as well was just like focus, boom, boom, nothing happened. Even uh, Twitter, I posted every single day on Twitter, nothing happened. Um, Instagram, I was like negative 40% on followers or something like that. I think I went up a thousand followers before October started and then I lost 710 followers by the time October was over. So it sucks, man. I, I guess, I don't know if it's because what I was making wasn't good enough, like people didn't like it or just, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't even know what it could be. Um, it sucks. Cause you think consistency, posting every single day and it's gonna do something, but it don't. You just have to have good art. Unless I'm like shadow banned or something, that, which is I hate people, when people say that. It's like, is that even, it's not even real. It's not real, there's no way. But yeah, posting every single day, didn't work for me. The only thing that made me see views is like I'll randomly do like a, um, I'll show like a new art book that I got and I'll be like, oh, you need this art book as a reel and it'll get like 30,000 views or something like that. But the process, me drawing, nothing. No Inktober stuff, which sucks because that's the whole reason why I like to do Inktober is like, uh, I feel like a lot of people check the hashtag and everybody grows and looks at each other's art and gives feedback. Didn't get no comments. I was getting like 20, 30 likes, which doesn't matter. Likes don't matter. Uh, it just sucks because before Inktober, I was getting two to 300 likes and then Inktober hit to getting like 10, 20. And I'm thinking it's because it's so consistent. You're consistently posting and people are like, oh, okay, it's getting boring now. Compared to when you post like once a week, people are like, oh, I need to see that next post. And you have to wait a whole week and then people get more anticipated for it. But I don't know, it could just be me. Did you grow on Inktober? Did you do Inktober and you gained followers and views and engagement? I lost a lot. I'm gonna put it right here again. Uh, it sucks. But uh, all right, here's my final thoughts on Inktober. I don't know if I'm gonna do it next year, depending on how I'm feeling. If I do, if I do it next year, I'm gonna do traditional because I feel like that's more Inktober vibes is traditional. Um, all my Inktober posts this year that are on my Instagram, I think I'm gonna archive them. I don't, uh, I'll probably archive half of them maybe. I don't know, there's a lot of them I don't like and I feel like they make my feed look ugly. So I'm probably gonna archive them. Um, uh, I liked how some people participated in my hashtag. I tried to make my own hashtag, that was pretty cool. Was it worth it? I think it was worth it because it, it helped me build like a consistency. It proved my proved a point I had. I was thinking the whole time, like before, like before each up, I was like, it's gonna. People say it helps you grow, and I was just thinking like, I don't know, I don't know. I was skeptical, so I had like a theory. I was thinking like, you have to post like really, really good art for it to get like engagement. You can't post like mediocre art that you just like rushed, which a lot of it was. A lot of it I rushed because I was trying to be consistent. I wanted to just put it out there. But some of it I did actually put a lot of time into. It helped me learn like a new art style. I tried like sketchiness. It helped me draw new things I never drew before, which I really like. Full body character designs. I wanted to do something that allowed me to have more character, like to do more character designs. And I was able to do that. I see everything was good about Inktober this year, except for the fact that I lost almost a thousand followers on Instagram and I did not gain anything. I didn't gain from reels. I didn't gain from posts, from story posts, nothing. It's like, that was kind of like uh, disappointing and sad, but um, I don't know. I just need to know for if anybody else posted every single day and they, they went up because I went down and it sucks to think about and it's unmotivating, but I, I think I'll do it again next year. Just traditional. We'll do it. We'll take a sketchbook with us everywhere because I'm always, I'm always, I'm never home. So that's why it's even harder to do Inktober for me. This video, I don't know if it has any help for you guys like if you guys could take anything from this video besides the fact that you have to do like great art to grow um some people will say it's consistency for me i tested it out it wasn't consistency i don't know what it could be but uh hopefully next year is better also i didn't go to lightbox i talked about it in the last video I, I was gonna go but i didn't go i'm pretty sad about that but anyways i hope this video you guys like this video me just ranting on about inktober and all my drawings if you guys want to go take a look at my feed before i archive them or if you want to scroll through my twitter they'll be on my twitter forever uh but on my instagram i'm gonna archive them because i have my i have my instagram set up as like a continuous like sketchbook and those kind of like interfere with my sketchbook look but uh anyways thank you to all my patreons and um and everybody who joined in on my inktober prompt keep creating don't let art block affect the art blocking real it might be
think about it. Uh, thanks for watching the video, Patreons. Drop a like, comment. Please let me know. I need to know if you grew from Inktober. This is like all my, it's gonna be all my mind. It's gonna keep me up at night. Let me know. Have a good one. Have a good one. Peace out.